up, Pumas? I'm Byron Hutch, and you're watching the morning announcement brought to you by Puma Productions. First up, let's hear from Chris for the academic segment. Good morning, Wise Pumas. I am Christopher Evers, and I am your academic news anchor for today. To start things off, I'll be talking about the National Honor Society's Peer Tutoring and Mentoring Program. It will be offered virtually based on preferred schedule and what is agreed upon you and your mentor. If you are interested, please type in the link or talk to Ms. Montgomery in room A213 or Mr. Housey in room A211 or talk to one of the officers, Naira Crowell. If you want to talk to her, email her at naira.crowell at pgcps.org. If you're looking for a new experience or to upgrade your academic skills, please look into the Cornell University Pre-College Program. The program offers lessons taught by top Cornell facilities. The preparation and the head start you will get and the college experience that you will receive by and talking to new and diverse students is amazing. Courses are offered between June 3rd and August 6th. Make sure you apply fast because they do fill up. Please contact them if you have any more questions or need more information. And that will be all for the academic se- session for today. Now let's talk to, to Cameron with the sports. What's up, y'all? It's Cam from Puma Productions coming to you with the sports segment of today. We got some news about previous games and upcoming games coming up. Uh, first on the list, the va- boys varsity basketball team played against Flowers High School last Tuesday at 715. The score was 64 to 67 with Flowers taking home the victory. Next up, we got basketball game against uh, Bowie High School on the 25th of January at 715. Uh, the score was 58 to 62 with Wise losing the game. We gonna get them back next time. I'm telling you, we gonna get them back next time. But uh, now we got Hoop Buzz. I know y'all was all there because I was definitely there at uh, 8:20 p.m. Game was a close one, and we won with the three three score difference. I'm not gonna lie, we barely pulled that one out, but you know we we came out with the win. I love my guys all the time. Lastly, the girls and boys varsity basketball team will have an upcoming game against Laurel High School at 7.15 p.m. The boys varsity team match will be hosted at Laurel High School, while the girls basketball team will play here at our school lives. Uh, support your fellow classmates and show up. We know y'all, we know, we know y'all wanna come. So make sure y'all here. Now back to you, Byron. Yo, the wise Pumas is crushing it as, crushing it as always. Now we have the story of the week by G. Good morning, Wise Pumas. I'm your reporter, Jay Johnson, and I want to know what you know about Martin's dream. Now, let's get into some interviews. Where did Martin Luther King Jr. give his famous I Have a Dream speech? Uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, Washington, D.C. at the memorial. They got, like, all the water, I think. It was given on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial on the National Mall. D.C. D.C. Washington, D.C. How long was the speech? Uh, about 17 minutes long. 17 minutes. Dr. King's speech was actually approximately 16 minutes in length. I think 17 minutes. How old was Martin Luther King when he gave it? Let me see. I think he was about 33 years old. In his 30s. Dr. King was 34 years old when he gave his speech. And I would like to add, he was a member of the first black Greek organization for men, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, which is my brother. Thank you. Like 34. That's all for today. Now tell me what you do about your dreams. I'm your reporter Jay Johnson for Wise Puma Productions. Puma, it's the season of love, and as you can see, we're in a festive spirit. So we're about to go around and ask other people what they think about Valentine's Day. I'm here with... Mr. Dow. All right, Mr. Dow. What do you love seeing the most during Valentine's season? I love seeing other couples. I love seeing love. I love seeing romance and how everybody's just kind of like really fun with this it up. So with all that, what do you plan on doing for the, um, the inside flashes? Uh, I'll probably do like a Valentine's, you know, art assignment. Maybe just paint some cards, maybe a love note to, you know, fan members, our friends, and let's take it us. All right, perfect. Appreciate that. All right, I'm here with Zion. All right, Zion, what's your favorite Valentine's Day tradition? Uh, man, honestly, just keeping the peace and keeping the love and the love, for sure. 
So what are you going to do if you did not have these things to keep the spirit? And continue to spread the love by just keep being peaceful. Just keep out of my business and you know whoever I mess with, I got you. All right, appreciate it. Come on now. You already know, you already know this was the best show brought to you by Ms. Carpenter, 1A class, 1A production class. We have the best show this year because hello, I'm your main anchor. Tune in next Friday and email Ms. Carpenter at Trinity Carpenter at PGCPS.org. If you have any news, if you have any news reports.